All right, so we can get rid of this and we kind of want so let's do it Let's see the answer. He definitely has one. I think it might this could be go for the fraud Hello everyone, it's Love here and today deck that some of you requested some time ago. It's a mind breaker full meal deck and yeah, it is fun and okay, spoiler alert, but we will mill monoret and there's nothing better than milling a hyper aggro deck. So definitely a lot of fun to be had here. We have a lot of like both mill that is a pretty efficient, like this is four mana, mill half of the deck. Uh, this is Jace that you know of and we can start benefiting from the cards that we milled so far with for example the Mindbreaker, right? And we can start refilling our hand while also milling our opponent. Good stuff is happening. So of course you want first for knowledge to draw three cards for three mana and discard a an artifact card. Guess what? It will be a mind breaker. So you don't really lose anything because you want this in the graveyard anyway and you drew three cards on top of this, that's pretty win-win. And this is definitely what the deck wants to, to be doing. We play Soul Partition in this one because we do not care about his card advantage. We just want to hit him with Mind Breaker and then Jace and Founding Path are basically lethal in few turns. So that's what all you need to do, is just throw him down. We have Lay Down Arms. Founding of the Third Path is an interesting one. So this is a meal card, of course. It's not the main meal card, but it helps to activate the Jace at some point. And the reason we play so many cheap spells is just chapter one. So you want to cast Soul Partition or Lay Down Arms or just Sunset Reverie to get the sweet value, especially that you basically play two cards so it means that you have less cards in the hand, so you will probably draw one, especially on the play. So this is the whole deck. It's very simple, but it, it, it's good at what it's doing. Uh, it's definitely a fun deck, so don't go super competitive with this one and do not craft it if you are short on wildcard. It works fun, but very often it doesn't work. So this is the deck. I really hope you like the games and have some milling action. It's definitely a small cool deck that has its own thing going. And if you like meal, this is probably one of your best choices. So enjoy the game and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I really thank you for all the support guys. And just, you know, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed milling some mono red players. Uh, let's go into the game and have some fun. All right, so we are going first. Let's see what we are up against. Let's play the planes first. Uh, potentially into Sunset Reverie. All right, I actually do not mind. This is actually perfect for us and I think this is the first time ever I have... Oh my God, I did it. It's fine. It's fine, we'll get it later. So we got the full value. Oh my God, I, I should have played the Wastes. I, uh, for some reason I was so sure it, it's not a problem, but of course it is. So. Never, never do play like this, guys. This is absolutely worse. He traded for a one token, basically. But you know, this is this is the type. This is the type. We go for Jace. We pay a lot of life, but we have even more. And now we can pump it, so it absorbs a lot of damage overall. I mean, we could attack, but you know something pesky with haste will come. But we just need to skip stacking Jace. Maybe get some Bankbuster action, and at some point we can use the founding of the third path to get uh, Reverie again. Right, one damage to Jace, probably. Or maybe two, right? Because he can... Yeah, I mean, he could play with fire. That's an interesting one. How much do I want to, to conserve Jace, you know? I mean, I will do it. I think he has played with fire, but yeah, I, I, in the end, I, I don't think he had. Let's go on this one. But on the next turn, I have soul partition. That's that's the point, you know. So I could start making this. So I soul partition the swift spear. I mean, this is pretty good overall. Let's do it. Chapter one. We saw partition this. Then we mill him, so we start the chain a little bit, and then we can play Sunset Reverie or the Soul Partition again. So we are kinda getting some card advantage, and Jace is still here. Alright, very very slow, so that's good for us. Well, definitely this will be him, right? 
And we have Jason with 5 loyalty, that's no joke. We could depopulate if we want. We could depopulate if we want. That's not a bad play. I like it. I like it. And do we mill him for quite a lot? I think we just keep plassing Jace and see where we go with it. Whatever he plays, we can just soul partition it again. Or just depopulate even if we want, you know? Alright, that's a 1-1 one, one, and we will soul partition this. Play the Bangbuster probably. Alright, so what is this spell? Yeah, it's just so good here. And he needs 5 mana to replay it. Let's pay some mana. So far so good, honestly. How many cards? Alright, we played the land. We played the Bangbuster. And I think we just keep stacking the value. Because at some point we should hit, you know, our key card of the deck. And then we can uh, get 20 cards and possibly even the end the end the game with Jace. <laughs> Alright, very very scary, but also pretty slow. Also pretty slow. Let's draw card first and see what, what the action is. And I honestly think we do it like this, probably. Uh, let's go for, for the play. 4 cards is 12, so that's enough. He might kill Jace, but every next one will do the thing, and I think it's worth it. And we still have this for the end step. Like, we need to slow him down. Man, if we can mill Monoret, I'm happy with it. <laughs> and they definitely scale, so we cannot allow anything to hit us in the face. Alright, two damage wasted, you love to see it, and every future Jace is already set up. Uh, this hurts quite a lot. Alright, we know everything, so let's get some cards. Man, we cannot draw into this key card of ours. Uh, Lance are... You know what? I want for a while, probably. Yeah, on the enchantment it's just insanely good right now. Jace it is, I guess. Like, we could draw so many cards, man. But I still think it's better to go for enchantments. And do we care about the graveyard? I don't think so. I might, be, I might be wrong, but I don't think so. And with Reverie we have so much time, we can use Founding to cast Reverie again, so we could be at 25 if we care. And Monoret thing is doing the Monoret things. As you can see, the Soul Partition keeps them at bay heavily. They, they will play all of those cards first probably, right? And now, the Jace is here, which means that we can start doing three cards every turn, and that's a really good deal overall. It also gives us this kind of stuff. So we can defend Jace, and if we can draw three cards again, man, still, no Mindbreaker, not a single one. I mean, this is our key piece for, you know, the whole thing, but it's fine. We'll try to protect Jace, we'll get value, and we'll still win this, but a bit harder than it should be, in a way. Alright, here you are, <laughs> alright, alright, so you do exist, however we need a lot, yeah, we, we need more blue mana for this one, unless we just play it right like this, I should probably play this first, but you get the idea. And let's play Trion because it gives us blue mana that we will definitely need on the next turn. And we have very nice blocker, you know. However, it won't go to Graveyard if we block Kumano. But he has 21 cards. He's very close to dying. We can mill 8 directly. So I don't think we even protect Jace at this point. We just... <laughs> the respect... Oh, never mind. He, he just tapped out fully. Unless he's a masterful player and just land into play with fire. Uh, he has nothing. Smirk. Milling Monoret. Oh my god, my life is so complete right now. Not even funny. Do we have cool spells to cast? Of course we do. Of course we do. 
But I have too much life, man. There's no point. I just have so much life. So let's cast those things when they are actually lethal. Man, he cannot kill the sea. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, he, he was low on mana, but thanks to our partitions, it actually did matter a lot. And we exiled Warfare, so he cannot stack all of this damage. Alright, sure. So, he will try to kill it. I, I like it. That's a fair, valiant attempt by Monoret to not get milled. Alright, that's the creature. We take two damage. You know, the usual stuff. And I think we just... Okay, so we cycle first one for sure. Let's see what we get. We don't have six, we have five. So I think we go Faithful Mending because it's more card efficient. I mean, sure. This we can cycle so we get rid of the basics that we cannot cycle. I mean, that will do it. <laughs> Let's show him the might of the meal. How, how not close this was. Yeah. Okay, we milled Monoret. So my life is complete. We can go another. Alright guys, so our opponent goes first. We have pretty nice opening with this. But we do not have too much value. So let's see. And we are suddenly against control deck. Because why wouldn't we? <laughs> it's fine. I actually enjoy playing some control matchups, I guess. Yeah, let's try with the Bangbuster. I wouldn't I wanted to play this. Alright, I don't think we can win this match. Well, we can. We absolutely can, actually. But we need to not get mana screwed. That's not what we want, but you know what? I mean, we'll keep drawing cards. Uh, this is brutal. Missing this display was really bad. Yep. This could be our Jace in the battlefield, or just getting infinite cards and just going for the Mindbreaker on the next turn. So definitely rough spots for us so far. Too toxic already. But we can kill... We are a very similar deck, kinda. Like, we try to control game a little bit, but they have counter spells and we do not. So that's the big difference. And we got mana screwed and they didn't. Alright, so... That is kinda okay, right? I think we play Jace right now. They might Edict, but I will steal minus two, so I get some value. He needs to counter, which means he cannot memorize the rush or you know, anything like this. And he doesn't get the periphery because Jace, even though we cast it for three, is actually four mana cost. All right, all right, that's something. Oh man, that's, that's rough, right? I still think we should do it, but maybe let's do it later. So we missed the slam drop, unfortunate. Alright, will he play something else? I don't think so. Alright, let's try the, try the end step. So I have a lot of first, but I don't want to be left open. I think he has bring the end, so probably a lot of counter spells. At least one, possibly two. Alright. Yep, that's a, that's a good one, because it probably fries. This is exactly what he wants. However, no blue mana anymore. Let's go like this. Alright, so we can get rid of this, and we kinda want, so let's do it. We have some leverage, but it's still 44 cards, and he has counter spells probably. I think we should still play this. Let's see the answer. He definitely has one. I'm pretty sure he has something, right? It could be go for the throw, but I think it's addict. I, I would go with the addict, to be honest. But maybe we can... We can use Bangbuster to buffer it. Oh, boy. I think it might... This could be go for the throw. I mean, you should do it before the effect went on the stack. That was a big mistake. And we'll definitely punish our opponent for it. We're at 5 toxic. But we have ways. We can mill 8 cards right now. Alright, we are a bit slow. And we don't have great spells to play. Hmm. 
Let's play Bankbuster and try to draw enough cards so we can curve out a little bit. I think he doesn't have too much right now, and this, like we can play a dance step very well. All right, probably full hand of removal, like go for the throats and cut downs, right? I, I hope. Let's play this one first, so we have mana. Of course, this is corrupted version, so he can counter. And I mean, this is pretty okay. We could hard cast it, but it's basically the same effect, so why would we? And we use the one with less counters, so we can activate the bangbuster a bit faster. Maybe it will make a difference, who knows. And we play this land so we can cycle those if we really want to. Alright, one went through. And he will be very close to that after this one. Alright. Okay, he learned from his mistakes. F creature or planeswalker. However, we can just go like this. And you know what? I will actually crow this. It's weird, but I want to have as many creatures as possible because I really want to attack and this is one of the disadvantages of, you know, this kind of deck. Yeah, it is nice. <laughs> 10 cards, milling toxic decks, sure. Alright, we, we do not care about the damage, I think. Alright, and I will play the funding of the third path. Uh, is there anything I want from Reverie? No creatures, I don't life gain, and I don't draw the card, so we don't really need this, and that's the only spell we have. So let's go for chapter 2, I guess. And make sure that he has even less cards. <laughs> and I have to say, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Let's see if he can go for Toxic 4 on this turn. It might be possible, let's go with the Painland. Probably Sunset Trevor also, but all of those cards are not needed. Oh, this is definitely not what you want. This is one of the drawbacks. That's why I don't like this version, to, to be honest. And let's go for this one and get some free value, I guess. Yeah, sure. I will get some, uh, give some mana to get a win con. All right, two cards. Uh, land and Sunset Reverie. Yeah, I think it's best. Reverie could be used to get to creatures, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. So if he doesn't have a counter spell, he dies, right? Do we test it? Do we test it? Yeah, we will test it like this. Okay, that was no reaction, so let's go for the Jace. And I will actually pay Firex and mana, just to have more mana open. And we will mill him. For two, leaving Jay still in game. I mean, that went pretty nice. <laughs> okay, we're very similar type of the deck, but the first mistake cost him the game fully. All right, guys, we're going first. I mean, with Bankbuster, that's pretty good draw, and we also have soul partition, so we have options. We need to get, you know, thirsty so we can discard this Mindbreaker. We definitely go with the Bankbuster. I need to keep drawing cards. And I have less, so Reverie will be pretty good here. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. So I draw the card. I couldn't pay myself, but it's pretty good. And we can trade for Underdog if we repair. Or just leave them for Chan blocking, which probably is a better idea overall. Like, this prevents a lot of damage during the game, right? Oh, that's that's tempting. Oh, I cannot. I, I th this is just too much value. I cannot give it up. Are you serious? I didn't expect also a uh, cut down. Good call, good call, my friend. However, however, so we will play this and yeah, yeah. let's get rid of the tap land. And we are getting hit for quite a lot, but I think we can combat it. And with this, we will get good card advantage. And some kneeling action. This will be hard though. Oh yes, please draw cards. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, we have to take this hit. Three mana is exactly perfect for first. We don't want to, you know, like this is so much better than anything else. I mean, we won't run out of cards this game, that's for sure. <laughs> and let's get this one. We can mill him for a lot of cards, but 
But what then? What then? I don't know. I will still do it. This might be go for the throat, but it doesn't hit the mind breaker, right? The priority is pa no way this is some kind of addict. So the cutdown doesn't hit it, go for the throat doesn't hit it. They usually have removal, but they usually have the wrong removal. If they have addict, I will cry in the corner. The only player ever playing Inferno Grasp still. Alright, I mean, why not, right? I didn't see this card for so much time. I mean, so much time. Alright, I guess it exists in today's match. Alright, so this this is probably very, very bad for us. We are at 8 against Mono Black with double Tenacious Under, and they will just keep drawing cards. Yeah, the game is absolutely over, I feel. Uh, this is pretty good opening with really perfect answers on every stage. So he didn't lose a single creature this time. I guess farewell top deck, because let's be honest, this is a full-blown top deck right now. Uh, might be something we needed. Without this card, he would be absolutely down the drain. He is at four cards still, so it's definitely not over. And I, I'm going for the Bankbuster because I'm the defender and I don't have creatures too much. So for me, Bankbuster is just draw for him. It's actually a creature with haste. So I definitely want to get rid of both. And I have so much value here. Just please keep discarding cards. I will. Oh my god. Thank you. This is so perfect. He might regret some decisions. <laughs> Alright, the nice Sandor dog go. Alright, so when this attacks, is defending player a thing? No, just attacks, so I think we can go like this. I hope we can go like this. Let's see, let's learn something about the magic. Yep, correct, okay. Just wanted to be sure. So we get rid of Liliana, we, we basically destroyed everything he has, however, he will keep hitting us. And that will hurt, so at some point we will have to get Soul Partition, I guess. That's a 6 mana blitz. And that's a good decision, so that's a land into something, we don't know what. Invoke the Sparrow can be very no-no for us, so that's a bit rough, that's a bit rough. You know what? I think at this stage we actually need to hard cast it just to defend against the tenacious underdog. Uh, invoke the spur, not great, but then we survive. We have this in the graveyard. Obliterator. All right, we need to lay down arms, and maybe we are actually doing it, guys. Like we have really good ways to deal with this. We just need to draw them. Bankbuster. Ooh, so we can attack, but that's not great. So I can soul partition it. Yeah, I will soul partition it, and then he will probably defend. Alright, I will risk it. I think we have a really fair shot at winning this if we play it right. If we play it right. that wasn't the right play it wasn't was it because if i attack he just transforms with menace and he has enough mana to go underdog all right definitely not my best decision ever sorry for that i actually really wanted to attack but i just realized after doing it that hey man i'm at five <laughs> it's it's not too much it's not too much I have to play it in response. He will get better selection, but I need to draw more than one good card. And you know what? We did. So now he can choose, but but each of these cards actually does matter. And we can block the Nacious Underdog, so we need, he needs removal in his two cards. And also Obliterator is not here. Farewell is a good choice. This is definitely a very annoying card for him. That can get rid of the Nacious Underdog. We didn't draw a single lay down arms, is that correct? Yep, not a single one. But to be fair, it's hard to hit a tenacious underdog. 
All right, so <laughs> he's checking the next card. Not sure if that's the strategy. Maybe, maybe it is. All right, like we ha we can hit Jason, mill him. But how do we do it? I do not have to turn, so I definitely attack with this one. Some more. So nine cards. We need to hit, hit exactly Jace from top. So we need to hold double blue mana. Yep, no need to block. Yeah, I can I one combat phase, right? So unfortunately. Uh, this is our last turn, so we definitely play like this. White, white. And this will be Jace from top and we win. Oh, it would be epic, wouldn't it? I can draw more cards, but, 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 we drew way too many. Man, we got him to nine. We got him to nine. It was a bit too uh, too good for us, unfortunately. So I can draw extra cards, but it doesn't matter. I can kill my own creature, but I life gain three. I don't think there's a way out. So the only thing I can do is try to hope that he ho expects the Emperor and he misplays. I don't think it will happen. I don't think it will happen. He also knows that the priority comes from Soul Partition, at least. Yep. Very good call. Very, very good call, my friend. Let's give him the pleasure. Oh, that was really hard. We just needed Jace in hand to win this game. All right, we're going first. We definitely take this hand. And let's start with Rafin Tower, I think. Probably the other land would be a bit better, but I don't think it makes a big difference. All right, all right. So I think we go like this, honestly, and start to go with the Fateful Mending and start to fix our draw a little bit. We can definitely get rid of the Mindbreaker, especially that we want it in the graveyard anyway, right? All right, this will grow. Start hitting us for a lot, probably. And we know everything, so let's find ourselves and draw some cool cards. All right, this one, honestly, I think it's Bangbuster. I don't think we'll have time to play those kind of things. I might be wrong, but I think so. All right, and this one will probably be the Jace, right? And he cannot kill it with an, even with this thingy as a land. And we'll get rid of minus three here. So even if it grows once, it will still be zero attack. So let's see, let's see. We definitely need some kind of depopulate at some point. Alright. How does it... How is it worded exactly? Combat damage. So I don't think it... Okay, never mind. So he ignores Jace fully. That's something we like to see. And this is why. <laughs> this is why. So I can go risky and just try to minus two. I might whiff though. But you know what? I will still do it. If we hit a land, it's such an easy win. Alright, we didn't, of course, but you know, there was a chance. Alright, so I think instead, should we play this? I mean, this is pretty okay. This is pretty okay. Let's go for chapter one. And we cast Soul Partition indeed. I think for this one, because it removes the most damage. And he also needs to recast it for 3, so that's pretty bad deal overall. And as a last card, it doesn't really grow at all. So we will lose Jace, unfortunately. But we'll survive and we'll just go with the populate into Raffin Tower and then try to be aggressive and close the game. Alright. Oh, nice. Alright, so let's see what he, he has in stock for us. Let's mill him, of course to get future dice a little bit better and it has to be the populate no really questions about it so the board is clear he still has a follow-up i'm sure he left something really good okay kodama is definitely not the worst one and we can play something if we care i mean soul partition is really good here especially that we can let's see the tapper all right, this is correct mana. Man, this is, we got so much value here. And we go like this. 
and we attack for half of his deck. <laughs> I mean, that definitely helps a little bit. So down to 20 cards. So we are kind of close to getting rid of him fully. At 15, Everjice is Leafar, right? That's the whole point. And if he casts 5 mana for Kodama, uh, it will be a bit hard for him. I honestly think we go like this. Alright, and those are some really nice cards. I don't need more mana, so let's get rid of all of this. And let's keep milling. Let's keep milling, let's keep milling. And this will be laid down arms. Man, we are so tempo efficient in everything we do. So he's back to 17, but his situation doesn't look very great. <laughs> yeah, he would be at 14 cards, so he was at mercy of Jace at this point. 